fortunate to be sitting here with Mr. David Bowie. Thank you for doing it. My pleasure. Thank you for performing for us. That was terrific. Oh, that, that was, that was, there's some great shirts in the audience. Look at that shirt. <laughs> That's how we recruit our, yeah, there's a man dressed uh, completely in silver, I believe. <laughs> That's right. There we go. Wait a minute. The he liked the shirt. Gonna, yeah, the guy's like, thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. The we, uh, you know, there's so much to talk about, and uh, we always try and, and cram so us. little time. And so, so Before little that, time. Then we turn to the big tooth. I'm oh, not even going to mention this. <laughs> Carry on. What were you going to say? Well, uh, you know what? I, it's it's famous, uh, famous lore about you, and I've never actually asked you. You've been yeah. on the show several times about your name. Yes. It's a famous thing now that your name initially. <laughs> Davy Jones. Yes, it was Davy Jones. And, and in the 60s, you had to change it because... Wick the Monkeys came along, and they were just getting popular when I was just starting my career, so I very wisely changed it to Tom Jones. <laughs> True story. True story. I was Tom Jones for about a couple of weeks, and just as I was doing the photo session, he released his first record, It's Not Unusual, and so right. then I moved on through... Then you were David Cassidy. That David Cassidy. <laughs> Yeah. Then you were like, wait a minute, Sean Cassidy. Yeah. He'll never make it. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Then I would have Sean Penn and it's like <laughs> slightly better. So it, bas it basically took you years, yeah, to yeah. get on the right name. Now, something that came out about you recently, and this, maybe this is embarrassing, but I thought we, we have to bring it up. You were recently named the 25th richest man in Britain. That's got to be, uh, yeah, woo! Uh. Yeah. <laughs> woo, you've accrued great wealth. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Yeah, right. That's something. Uh, what a crass you want me gesture. To do a mime piece. Yeah, right? yeah, that's right. It's a mime. Once was a mime, always a mime. The pain, right. <laughs> Walking against the wind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. We'll get you to do some mime no, next time. Yes, we will. <laughs> We're going to loop what you just did yeah, over and yeah, over yeah, again yeah, yeah. and make you look insane. Yeah, uh, well, that's, but what's it? I would that's think. That's been done already. I, I think. <laughs> I, did that, I did that myself successfully. Oh, you've done that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You've already made yourself look insane. I would think that would be difficult if it gets published that you have all this money. <laughs> oh. How do you give people gifts at Christmas? If you can't just give them like it's, it's a shoe. It goes inside your shoe and it keeps its shape. Uh, it's, I mean, that's not going to do when you're the 25th. I'm buying a or string of islands. Oh, you've done that. Yeah, oh, string nice. of pearls, string of islands. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Shecky Green? Is this thing working? Ah. That came after Sean Cassidy, but I dropped it. You tried Shecky Green yeah, for Shecky a while. Yeah, Shecky Green didn't happen for very long. <laughs> that was 1972. Uh, you had a... Um, that I was 1972. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. This is going to be a famous interview one day. <laughs> Once they figure out what the hell we're talking about, this... When they release the transcript of this... Did you know that we get to Shecky Green? <laughs> yeah, that was my that. plan the that whole time. That was pretty I wanted good. you that to talk about Shecky Green. My ways of... Uh, you had a songwriting contest a while ago. Yeah. Tell us about that. I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> you, you invited people it's all over my the... my site. I, I, I put up a melody and a chorus, and I asked the users of the site to contribute lyrics. And the uh, winner came to the studio, and we, we put the song on the uh, album, Ours, the new album. <laughs> and, uh, Exciting. Thank you. Was, was that over Ours, the new album? Yeah. The consummate businessman. Amazing. Now the 24th richest man. I, <laughs> the, uh, you know, I found out about this contest, and I'm a bit of a songwriter. Why would you laugh at that? And I, I submitted a song. Did you get my song? I, I didn't win, and I, was, I thought... I, I'm sure we saw it, yeah. I thought my song was really good, and I thought maybe you hadn't, you know, you must have gotten a lot of submissions, but since you're here now, I thought I should show my song to David Bowie. In fact, I have it right here, and I thought maybe you'd perform it right here and we'd see who had the best song, huh? You don't mind, do you? <laughs> okay, here we go. It's in G. You like G, huh? I love G. Okay. I live for G. Here we go. I'll get, I'll get you in the mood. There are so many talk show hosts. 
but he is clearly better than most. <laughs> He's a handsome man, but I'm not lying. It should be and. And I'm not lying. <laughs> His wonderful name is Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Here's the good part here. Here's the good part. Ground control. <laughs> How about, huh? Uh, you bust your G-string. <laughs> <laughs> How about, how about big red Tom? <laughs> what are you babbling about? I thought the lyrics were good. I think it kind of falls apart at the end, but I thought uh, it was very nice of you to do that. What do you think? Don't ask me that, please. <laughs> <laughs> but you're supposed to be such a nice guy. Yeah. Right. Uh, we have to talk before we go about this. Uh, you've come out with a game. Omicron. <laughs> Omicron. That's called a career. What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> You've come out with a video game. You, sir, are a wise ass. All right. <laughs> Careful, I talk about the, a bucket under your desk. All right, desk. all right, all right. We won't talk about right. that. What's, uh, what's behind the bucket? Show, show everybody. I have a what's... bucket under here, yeah. and you keep commenting on it. Yeah. Rehearsal. But look, what's behind the bucket? A brush. That's right. Brushing. <laughs> David Letterman has nothing <laughs> under his desk. Oh, there's something down there. All right, let's... Uh, we have a clip here uh, of the game, uh, and in this game, you... Uh, it's a city that you've created, this is that right? City, well, I didn't create... This was invented by the French, therefore there's a lot of strip bars, red light districts, smooching couples, gorgeous women. Really? Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite fantastic. It's, uh, it's so French that the guys on the street, hey, and they come at you with guns and they say, I'm gonna... What are you reading? <laughs> You're reading William Gibson? <laughs> Verlaine, that's all right. <laughs> Celine. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. So he's kind of got a French, <laughs> French kind of twist. What kind of video it. game is that? Well, we have, a, uh, uh, we have a clip here. Do we need to know anything or should we just roll it? I'll just roll it. Okay. You're not the first video game player to get your soul trapped in this dimension. a naked woman in there. You can't show that. It's almost 1.30. You'll get in trouble. <laughs>